These are muscle machines, and you really don't see a whole lot of muscle machines anymore. These are my import tuner set that I have. I only have five of these. These are nice because they have rubber tires, and they have full detail. They're radically modified, as you can see. There's the engine. They pay, even paint the engine inside it, which is kind of cool. This is the Acura Integra. The downside to this, it seems like every time I pick one of these up in the thrift store, is that uh, they're missing the wing. Almost every time. I don't know if it's because the wings are plastic and they break them off or what happens to them, but almost everyone's missing their wing. So, anyways, this is the Acura Integra in gray. And then I also happen to have this one in blue. Right there in the camera. Anyways, there he is in blue. Let's see what the engine looks like in this one. And that one looks like it's painted a different color. It's painted red. And it's got the big uh, turbo motor sticking out the hood. And this one has like a uh, like a white, clearish looking interior in it. The interiors are really cool in these cars. Which is cool. I mean, they're plastic inside, but they're like actual racing seats, which is neat. Different color steering wheel, different color shifter. I don't know if that's coming through there or not. Anyways, that looks really cool. And of course, they have all these licensed... Uh, all these licensed liveries on the side, you know, all the different decals and stuff from the different licensed ones. And you get, you know, rubber tires and moving parts. And again, no wing on that one. So this one here, I got, I think this is a later one. Anyways, this one is the uh, Celica. And it's got the turbo sticking up out of the hood again. Got some detail there in the engine. It looks pretty cool. You can see the intercooler there in the front, right there. <laughs> and again, no wing. Speakers in the back. These are like the same racing seats, but different color interior. It's uh, red and black. So you can get that up in there. Again, you got most of the liveries. This one says muscle machines on the side, which is pretty cool. And a uh, Toyota Racing Development. So they're definitely, you know, full livery on these, right? Which is pretty cool. I mean, they are just loaded with logos, right? And then you got your exhaust, which is chrome on this one, which is kind of neat. And then we've got the other Toyota here. This one's the Supra. Obviously the scale isn't that close because I mean it's like supposed to be like a 164 and it's probably more like a 160 or 155. Although this one's pretty small for the Supra because the Supra is a bigger car than the Celica. And this one looks uh, a little small. Anyways, you got your tail lights there and the exhaust pipe. Again, missing the wing. Again, the turbo sticking out of the hood there. You got your nitrous logo on the front there's the uh, underside of the hood there I mean they're really detailed you got your intercooler body kit again these are the red uh, seats same seats in this one again I'm thinking they use the same seats through most of the line but it's pretty cool and then they got detail on the bottom as well that's decent looking that looks nice Let's see if the Acuras had the exhaust on the bottom. They do. The Acuras also had the exhaust done on the bottom. Looks like they're both the same there. Yeah, they're both the same. And then the last one that I have here, this is a Civic. Hey, this one's got the wing. It's because I got this one separately from somewhere else. But uh, this has the, uh, these look like these might be different seats or they just might look different because they're in the Civic. This one's really kind of cool. It has Yokohama tires on the side, Eibach springs, all sorts of different uh, brandings on it. It says Venom Racing on the hood. Let's see if that comes through. Not really. Anyway, so got the turbo sticking out. The 
the lid's open on this one too. So you pretty much get the same thing on all of these. And you know, I think these were pretty cool. I think if they had these today and they were like five or six dollars, they would probably sell. A lot of people really like these old uh, JDM style tuners. And you know, they're pretty cool looking. I always keep these in the set. I probably paid like 50 cents to a dollar for them each. I think I may have paid a dollar for this, uh, this Civic, probably because it has the wing on it still. You can see how fragile the wings are though. They just want to come right off. I mean, that's that's pretty flimsy right there. But it's still a pretty cool piece. And uh, yeah, these are pretty neat ones here. Well, anyways, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.